Hey guys, a brand new version of Affinity Publisher version 2.2 was released recently and it is really loaded with new features and requested changes. So I think this whole update 2.2 for Affinity Software, including version for Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, I think like 90% of changes, 90% of new features, all of that have landed here in Affinity Publisher. So let's get started. What's new in Publisher? I select some a new feature I want to highlight here. Of course, you can access the whole change log, all of the features listed up on the official website. First thing I want to mention that I already mentioned in the previous videos for designer and photo, long press to temporarily switch to different tools. I think that's a genius. It's so simple, but yet so effective. So instead of just clicking on the tools or using shortcut to switch and then switch back, we can press and hold the button. So let me try that. Press and hold P for the pen tool. And I'm still holding it. All right. So I kind of temporarily using this tool. And when I finish with the tool, when I'm done with it, I release the letter P and I jump back to the previous tool and I'm back to the move tool and I can do another stuff without selecting tools from the list. All right. It's so silly, so simple, but yet so effective. I really like this one. So that's a new feature. You can just press and hold the button to temporarily switch to a new tool. And then when you release that, you will jump back to your previous tool. Very nice addition. All right, and let's talk about some serious stuff. A custom text variables, something you guys complained under the previous video when I make the video for version 2.1. Some of you mentioned that you're still waiting for custom variables and here they are. So if you go to fields, you will, will see this new custom area. So if you hit your window at the top, then reference, we'll open fields studio. Here it is. As you can see at the bottom, they add a custom area when you can click this plus to add a custom field here. So that's one of the features that power users requested and it's here. So that's a great news. We can also now cross reference inside, inside the same document. So if you hit again window, References, there's also cross reference tab here. Take a look. It's empty in this case, but this is the place when you will be able to reference to different areas of the same document. So something really handy if you're building a book or magazine, you'll be able to cross reference across the document in the dynamic matter. So it will be updating with the document. All right. And two new view modes for Affinity Publisher and also Designer. So one is the grayscale view mode and don't be mistaken, that's not a color mode. So we don't need to mess up with colors. We can just click for the view mode. So if you go for a view mode here at the top, you can change to grayscale and we are still in the proper color mode. I just temporary viewing my document in great scale. So that's nice. Let's go up, switch this off by pressing for the same mode again. And the next thing is hide effects. Take a look. I have prepared this shape here, this X. I apply like inner shadow, outer glow, and, and this is this outline effect. All of that is in the layer. So there are layer effects here. We're talking about layer effects. Let's add even more. Okay. So silly 3D. Okay. And with that, now I can use the special view mode that will ignore all of that. So take a look. I hit view, view mode, and I select hide effects. And it seems like this is now a flat shape. But if you look at the layer panel, all of the effects are already applied. So I don't need to switch them off and on. This is just a special view mode for us. If you've got a very complex document, that may be helpful also. You can use that to pick up the original color. Sometimes we put so many effects on this, so we don't even know what is the color of the object. All right. If I go view, view mode, I can switch this off and all of the effects are back. So that's a nice addition. Now, finally, we can custom 
our date formats that's silly you will ask what that's new that should be here from the day one i agree that should be here from the day one now you can just right click on your uh, date formats uh, field you can just right click on it and you will be able to use uh, those symbols to create your own pattern like right? so d for day m for month etc this whole list of symbols on the official website that we can use here to generate our own date format also they improved the data merge that's also a feature requested by power users data merge allow us to load names text from a separate uh, document now we can also load emails and urls so that's an uh, addition as you can see in this example they got this document with emails and urls and automatically loading that fitting that into a main document main design so that's something that we can do right now as you can see we can match data including urls and emails that's for power users definitely we can set up our custom date formats finally nice height effects and grayscale view modes are available we can cross reference in the same document there's a custom variable field now we can create ourselves and we can just press and hold the button to temporarily switch to different tool so a really nice update for affinity publisher all of those gossip that they're going to abandon the software <laughs> and we got this nice update as you can see they uh, aiming to power users people working with multi-page documents they try to make our workflows a bit easier they try to bring some features that are missing and i hope they will stay on this path i think it's a great step in the right direction not just yet there but a great step in the right direction thank you for today and don't forget to check what's new in affinity designer 2.2 and affinity photo 2.2 i already released those videos you can check them next and i will see you in the next tutorial bye